Let me preface this review slash rant with a little tale. It's a short one, just stay with me for a second. About a husband and wife who work all day to the bone with their kids who are homeschooled and their jobs and they finally get everything settled for the night. The dishes are cleaned up, the kids are put to bed and they relax in the comfort of their own room. They turn on the TV, they don't really have any physical contact because the wife can't stand the look of the husband anymore. And I respect that. I mean, I mean, this person respects that. And they turn on, please don't destroy the treasure of Foggy Mountain or whatever it's called. It's the worst title of a movie I've ever seen ever. It's right up there with Tu Wong Fu, thanks for everything. I don't even think I got that name right, it's so bad. Anyway, the movie starts up Getting a few laughs out of it because at the end of the day, that's all I'm looking for. But before you know it, the movie can't be finished because the app that it's running on is barely running itself. Let's talk Foggy Fucking Mountain, the curse of this crappy app, Peacock. Please don't destroy. The Treasure of Foggy Mountain. What a title. What a wretched title for a movie that doesn't deserve one so bad. We fired this movie up because it was kind of being plastered all over the PS5 and all over, you know, whatever, the, the Peacock thumbnails. And I thought, you know what? It's a comedy. It looks intriguing. You have Conan O'Brien in there who's hilarious. I love him. I'll watch anything he's in. Let's give it a go. So we fire it up. And I'm actually kind of into this film. It's dumb as hell, but it's funny. It's about these three guys that live together, young adults, who are not, not really happy with the trajectory of their life. The, the mistakes they've made up until this point need to be washed away somehow. One of the buddies has an idea, which is to go up into the mountains and try to find a secret treasure using their compass and their ingenuity. These guys are idiots, keep in mind. It's like a modern Three Stooges with them without the slapstick humor. It's more dialogue driven. And it's modern dialogue, which can be a turnoff for some people. A lot of really quick back and forth, cutting each other off lines. The camera's moving with each person as they're talking. I dug it. I thought it worked really well here. Conan plays this angry store owner and father of one of the sons. Not impressed with this kid at all. We made it about, I'd say, 35, maybe 40-ish minutes into this rated R hour and a half minute flick that came out this year. I don't know if it's exclusive to Peacock, but that's really sad if it is, because this app sucks ass. After about 35, 40 minutes, when they start meeting up with the camp, not the camp counselors, the, the park rangers, who are these two funny women, app goes kaput, freezes up. I liked what I was seeing from this film. It had good looking cinematography. It had a playful vibe to it, a good energy. These guys were all very funny. And then boom, it's done. Right as I'm getting to another comical bit, the thing freezes up and shuts off. All right, the PlayStation 5 has had a lot of problems with the Peacock app. Let's try restarting it. Let's try rebooting it. Let's go into safe mode. Let's clear the cache. Let's do all this ridiculous stuff that shouldn't be required of a streaming service that you pay money for. Then I pump the brakes. I say, all right, well, we have a Samsung TV. It's only a few years old. It's the oldest one in the house, but it's still an expensive piece of equipment. We should be able to run it on that, right? Wrong. I try firing up the Peacock app on it. Just a no-go. Just spirals at the loading screen, just spiraling out of control. So I go back to the PlayStation 5. Lo and behold, it works. We finally get it up and running, and we can finish watching this movie on the cock. Right on P. You know, it is perfect that this thing's titled Peacock, because I can't think of a more fitting, dumb fucking name for such a crap service than Peacock. You shorten it at the front, it's P. It's piss. You shorten it on the back end, it's cock. It's dick. It sucks. And that's exactly what this thing is. No go on the Samsung TV. PS5, we fire back up. It's kind of working. Sure, the quality has gone down to about a 420p. But I'm, you know, that's fine. That's okay. 4K TV at 420p. Sure, why not? That's what I paid for after all. That's why I pay extra a month for my internet provider to give me the best quality internet, the, like the, the most bits, 
the most computation that I can pull in so that I can get a 420p picture that's barely operational. And what, what would you know, after about five minutes, it's kaput again. And this is not a one-time thing with uh, please don't destroy the treasure of foggy fucktown. No, this has been happening 24-7, seven days a week, baby, for over a couple years now. Maybe the app needs to be updated on the PlayStation. That's possible. Very likely. It's not operating well with the OS. But that means it also has to be updated on the Samsung TVs. Most of these apps, for people that don't know, have to be updated on a per base, I can't think of a word, per base basis? That doesn't seem right, but I'm gonna go with it. Meaning, there's various different versions of this software catered to each individual thing. So Roku has a version of Peacock, the, the Samsung TVs have a version, the Amazon uh, Fire Stick has a version. All of these have different versions of the cock. And so P's just not going to operate well, depending on what you have. Maybe the Xbox has a good version. I, I really don't know. I can't tell you that. We have other family members I've reached out to. I said, hey, what's going on with the cock? Are you able to watch this new movie? Are you able to watch anything? No, we gave up on that. We gave up on that service. It never works, is what the person told me. I went to a complete stranger on the sidewalk. I said, sir, sir. And then they responded, I'm a woman. Oh, sorry, ma'am. You're just hideous on the eyes. But ma'am what do you think of Peacock? And the ma'am looked at me. The, the woman had uh, tears in her eyes. She said, sir, she refers to me as sir. Sir, she said with tears pouring down her face, I can't watch Peacock. The app is garbage. No wonder they call it Peacock because it is cock. And I say, yes, ma'am. I hear, and I embraced her. I embraced her until the life was taken out of her lungs and whoosh, I snapped her and dropped her to the ground. I did her a favor here. I'm not the villain, I'm the hero. She was well past her prime and she did not want to be on this planet anymore. And this service is well past its prime and it needs to be put to pasture as well. Peacock sucks. I can't watch anything on it. Why am I paying for it still? I feel like they put more time into their oops, something is wrong screen with the Shrek cat holding his hat, looking at you with those sad eyes than they did on the service itself. They're like, well, listen, we can't get the app to run well on literally anything, but we have the Puss in Boots character here, Puss. He's going to be there on the cock. We got Puss on the cock, ready to rock. And I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to roll. I can't really give a proper review of Please Don't Destroy the Treasure of whatever Froggy Town Village. I can't, because I can't watch the movie. I can't finish the fucking movie, because this app sucks. And so the review so far is a tentative, give it a shot. It's a, from a distance, Bette Midler, try it out. It's a cautiously optimistic, go for it. But I didn't see the second half. The mountain could have an avalanche that destroys the entire thing for all I know, and it's a complete wash, or it's a throwaway, or it's garbage just like the app. And at that point, it's not my fault. I gave you a cautious suggestion. Let me know about all of this. Are you a Peacock fan? Are you for the cock? Let me know in the comments. Put it down. Like the video if you had a good time. Subscribe to help support my mental issues. <laughs> help me. Help me mentally overcome some of these first world problems that make me resort to fictitious scenarios where I'm killing people on the side of the road because, because why? Their app's not working either and I think the sweet release of death is enough to help them cope? Let me know if you saw this film. I wanna hear if it's any good and if I should try to find a way to continue, whether it means jumping on the old pirate ship and sailing the seven seas, or if uh, you know maybe one day down the road, Peacock will work if I can get on the phone with ABC or NBC or it's all Disney at this point. I imagine Disney owns all of this probably. Call up uh, Bob Iger or Mickey himself and say, hey, Mick, what's going on? Oh, hi, Adam. Ha -ha, you piece of shit. Are you having a problem with the app? Ha -ha, go fuck yourself. And then I hang up and, and then it's all over because the house of mouse doesn't care about me or you. They got that sweet cheddar for that mouse and he's all full. Okay, that's it. I'm rambling. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, I see you next time. And hopefully, 
you're having a better experience than I am with this service and many of the streaming services out there. Take care.